Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Um, I've been experimenting with the Bohec, the bouquet or bouquet or Bohec dots. Um, stamping up, do a little stamp which does it for you, and it's lovely. But I wanted one to cover the whole of my page, so I've had a little splash around with uh, some. I've just put my ink pad on there, and I've swooshed it around with my Aqua Painter. Um, I did a bit of sponging here and, and then just faded it out and then you dry your paper, which is watercolour paper. Then you do the Bohec dots with your hair, um, white pigment ink and then you heat and set that. And you've got to make sure it's bone dry because I've done a, this is my third attempt now. And to add your embossing powder and your Versamark and I forgot to add my embossing buddy for one. Uh, which would have made it dry by patting it on there you get powder out which gives you all the dryness so I've, I've had three mistakes now but I'm going to show you how I did this one and I love it I think I think it's absolutely gorgeous the first card I did was a little darker and I stamped it with the white pigment ink but you can hardly see it literally it's just when it dries it dries so pale and to get it a nice strong deep colour I'd have to keep going over and going over and going over and going over and then I would have to use the Stamparatus. Beautiful card still but not very, you know, it's really pale compared to this one that's been done with the white heat emboss powder. So that was my first one. My second one is in the bin somewhere. I'll show you. It was disastrous because I didn't dry it properly. So you get all this horrible gooey stuff which comes off your powder. So this is my, that's my third attempt. I'm going to keep this one because I'm going to try and go over that with the Stamparatus and with Versamark, take these pearls off. And when it's bone bone dry then I will go back over the sentiment as well. So I don't want to ruin the card and I hate throwing stuff away. But isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And then I've added some Winkostella with the small tiny dots. So let's get cracking because it does take a while. You've got, I've got my card bases. These two are both exactly the same size at the moment because by the time I've done all my watercolouring, I'm going to trim it down because when I put it against my card and it was really dark, it lost itself. So I'm coming in with a white border and then when the purple piece goes on the top, we'll trim off then and you'll get this gorgeous white border. But you're going to have to glue this down I put this on with tear tape and it needs a little bit more glue under there which I will squeeze under later but what a beautiful card absolutely gorgeous look at the sentiment wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness I love this dandelion which is it's just beautiful absolutely stunning <coughs> we are going to get really super messy so I'm going to fetch in I've been as you can see we've already gotten super messy Sorry about the glare, wait for it to focus. There we go, focus is coming back in. I held it up a bit too fast and a bit too quick then. Sorry about that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm fetching in. I'm gonna have to reload this as well. I know it does the only thing, it gets pink and, and I've what I've done, I've taken some sheets of vellum. I'll show you actually, I'll cut another piece down and we'll make a new one. It's so simple. You just grab some vellum. You won't need a whole sheet, trust me. I just cut this down and I will get the punches there and show you. Whoops. So let's just cut these at four by five. So, and I'm going to do two, so, and again, I'm going to cut this out, four by five. So this could be a little bit of a long winded video, but it'd be worth it to show you this technique. So, I'm fetching in all my circle punches up to one and three eighths. I think that's plenty. And what you're basically going to do is, on your first sheet, don't go too close to the edges. Push this in and just push out a few dots. Then the next size up. 
and I'm doing two of each on this one and then we want our one inch punch and that's how you get your dots and you use this you can tape it down to keep it in place on your other piece then I'm gonna do the one and a quarter just once and one and three eighths and that's how you get these masks I've done that a little bit too close to the edge so I'm gonna be really careful with that one these now are my new masks and a piece of vellum is next to nothing so you can make these as many times as you want keep those dots if you want to use them on another card uh, they would add bohec dots as well oh I never thought of that look I wonder if you could glue, mind you, you'd see the glue. You know, if you wanted to add a big highlight, but no, you'd have to glue them down. So, no, don't keep them. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm fetching in my ink pad. Uh, somebody said to squeeze them from the bottom to get the ink in the lid. But uh, it doesn't give me enough. So what I've done, I've just grabbed my re-inker and I've took about four drops in there that's all because I want some dark bits some light bits and I'm gonna grab my sponge and I'm just gonna add a few drops of water because this is uh look at that it's beautiful this is watercolor card so we're gonna be using the aqua painter in a moment just gonna dab because I want to start getting some color on here I'm just adding circles and now I think that's plenty with the sponge and what I'm gonna do is I want it dark and light dark and light so I'm just gonna add some dark patches the other one I did pale and that's all I'm gonna use now See how your card gets really uber wet? So I'm just dragging that colour. You don't want to go too hard. And you don't want to go too rough. Because you just want to fill in the colours. I'm trying to give yourself some circles. So you could go back in. Just add a bit more. You can have the background as rough or as smooth uh, or as pale as you want so I'm not using any more ink now I'm just gonna, just gonna basically paint over this and I know your card curls and everything but trust me it will uh, it'll be lovely when it's done I'm following that colour I'm just showing you a quicker version you can sit and sponge all this if you wanted to you know but wise color and sponge when you can do, do it like this quickly this will clean up and maybe only needed one or two drops so I'm just gonna keep that open a moment I'm gonna clean that off after so now I love that I think that's brilliant so when we add the bohec dots then sorry about the noise but I've got a heat set this And you've got to heat set every stage with this, only for the video's purposes. Some white on the end of my card. So, just going to heat set this. It wouldn't take long at all. And I know your card buckles like crazy. But it's well worth it, trust me. I do apologise about the noise. That seems pretty dry to me now. So 
some some white stuff on the end of mine. It looks like gold. But uh, we'll turn that paper over. Right, that is bone dry now, thankfully. It really is. Oh my gosh, this is the bit I love the most. So, taking your mask with the dots, just sit it on your card. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to ink up again with this, but just create circles now. You want some really pale ones, you want some darker ones. And we're going to heat set this again. Just go do the circles. And plenty on this, I really loaded it up earlier. And I'll show you the effect in a minute. Because we've got, on the other card, uh, the pale one, I yeah. Uh, I put the ink pad straight on top and then squashed it all over with the aqua painter. That's how I got the colour on there. So I lift that up. You can start to see those dots coming. So turn your paper over. Uh, you want to start now joining the dots up. And you want to, like I say, some dark, some light. You've probably all seen this technique done by other people, but I just wanted to do it so I've got that beautiful dandelion wishes going on and isn't that beautiful absolutely beautiful I may have to ink my dauber up a little bit more the only thing is you can shampoo these but mine is starting to break down from all the rubbing so I will have to order myself some more little daubers because this is the last clean one I had so I'm going to move that over Your vellum will. So let's get a couple of big ones in there, and I'm going to add this big one right here. Yeah, so I was going to do a couple of projects tonight because I like to film in advance. And oh, what time? It's probably about nine o'clock now, and I haven't had a chance to. I'm going to go back to some smaller ones here. I'm going to have this one. Try and join them as well because they look so much better than standing alone. See what I mean? And I have some small one here. And if you notice, I'm just putting it to the next dot along. So they join together. But if you've got patience to let your card dry naturally, then that'd be great. I'm going to go back over that one because I want to make that a little bit darker. You want some to stand and pop off the page, so I'm going to do one here and I'm going to try and get as much colour in there as I can. Oops, it's coming off my finger. See what I mean? And if you do get bleeding, just touch it into the and pull it inwards. It's not so much bleeding as it's uh, the edge of the car, uh, where the rim is. I love that anyway. So I'm going to add a few more darker highlights. Beautiful. Go over that one again. See what how beautiful they turn out. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a small one here. But I've gone bananas on this uh, beautiful colour, the, the grapefruit. Uh, gorgeous grape. Love the cardstock, I love the ink colour. I've always been a purple girl and this is just stunning. And I'm looking down now. I'm gonna add I'm going to add a larger one there. Don't want to go over the top, but, uh, you know, you want... It reminds me of a 70s nightclub. I've never been in a 70s nightclub, but you know when you see films? And, uh, I don't know, just psychedelic. It's just beautiful. So, right, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to leave that as it is now. 
you do get mucky, I do apologise, but you can keep these, you can throw them away, you can just make them up as you go along. <coughs> so, I am going to try and just blend that a little bit. This wheel, they, they do get paler as you heat set them. So again, I'm sorry this is going on, but... You, this is just to speed up the process because it, it does take a long time to dry. And we want to rush things along for the video's sake. And they're getting a bit, oh, they're getting a bit brighter, I'd say. going to test that because it's still warm. You've got to be careful, get it all over your fingers and you don't want to smudge it. So I'm just going over to feel. That feels pretty dry to me. We're going to trim this down. So, right, now you're embossing buddy. Oh, I love this thing. Pat it. You'll see dust. It's great. This will also mop up anything that's uh, wet. So now I'm going to decide. I'm going to have my sentiment here and my beautiful dandelion down here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over with my bone folder to try and flatten the car. back to its shape. That's better. It's not perfectly straight but when you glue it down it'll be perfect then. So I'm going to make sure I've got a little paintbrush handy. I'm going to grab my embossing powder out. Get that ready. And come in now with, I'm just going to keep going over because I don't want to make the same boo boo I'd made before. I've lost my Versa mark. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> it would have been a dog, it'd have bit me. So these are still nice and juicy from when I inked them before, but I'm still going to go with them. The more you can get on there, the better. So I'm going to try and line this paper up and this. I'm just going to stamp, making sure it's going the right way. I'm going to leave that for a few seconds for it to absorb into the paper. Perfect by the looks of things. And I'm going to do the sentiment first, then we're going to come back and do... Making sure I've got plenty on there. And look at that, I, I don't even have to use the paintbrush. So sorry for the noise, but it's going back on. seconds. Oh, there was a little dot there. Look. Don't worry about that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that background now. Just I want this to be bone dry. You don't want that spilling over into you. I don't want that same mistake again. But look at that. Wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. So, now for the gorgeous flower. I love this stamp set. It's just absolutely... Who would think a dandelion could do and bring something special into your life? Especially when it's turned into a stamp like this. So I want this in the centre as if it's dressing the card. So I'm going to line that up and stamp my image. Perfect. 
There we go. So what I'm going to do, because we've got that down there, I'm going to turn it upside down to ink this, uh, to powder this up. This time I'm going to check. I'm going to pop the lid on this before I drop it all. I'm going to check that I haven't got any little white bits this time. No, it looks pretty good apart from that one there, but we're going to trim off after anyway. So I'm sorry, but this is going back on again. Eyesight is terrible because look, I can see them now. Arr, arr, <laughs> I'm gonna pop these things away as I'm going along because, like I'm saying, it's pretty late. And I, uh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look, see, I didn't have those bits there a minute ago. My eyesight is terrible. Just want to make sure that is bone dry. So I'm going to put the lid back on my re-inker. Don't want that spilling everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry about the few little bits. Get these out the way. And I'm going to fetch in my trimmer now. I'm going to trim this down. I'm going to have this at three and five eighths. And we're going to have it at five and three eighths. One, two. The thing is, because the card is buckled, make sure it's pulled right up tight. I don't want that to. I don't want to be left with a wonky piece of card. I haven't even decided whether I'm going to decorate the inside yet, but oh! Watch how beautiful this is when it comes together now. I'm going to be using a Tombow for this. And no one's going to see the back of your card. And I'm putting plenty on. And this piece is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. And we've just cut this down to three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So we've got that nice border all the way around. I'm going to turn this over and give it a good rubbing from underneath. Just so that card can adhere itself down. it is warped a little bit and we'll see you need it to stay stuck down so I'm going to grab my bone fold see if that will disperse that glue for me a little tiny bit under there so that's fine so again I'm going to fold my card first do this on my trimmer but I've got so much stuff on my desk it's unreal. I'm gonna burnish that down. Oh that's turned out quite nice actually. I'm gonna add a lot of glue to this as well because look at that now it just dresses it like a frame and I think it's absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna make sure I don't want it too thick but I obviously want it to cover the edges without it spilling over into 
the outside. But you could say watercolour the cards one day. Uh, leave them overnight to dry. They might not warp as bad. Well, I think they will still warp. But now we're just going to layer this on. Again, just I'm going to open my card this time to do that. Just coming from the inside. I want to keep it as flat as possible, see? Oh my word. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get rid of that. Put my glue on. What I've got now is I've got this little mask. These are too tiny for the the bowhead dots I think but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Winkostella and I'm going to choose this little dot here in the bottom corner or maybe the one next no the little one and I'm just going to add little dots of Winkostella so when we pick it up into the light I'll show you fingers crossed Oh, it's just beautiful. It just adds a little bit of shimmer to your card. I don't want to be rough, so I want to pick it up. I disturb those other dots. But that is just absolutely stunning. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add two more. Six. I'm going to pop one just down here. Seven. They say the eye counts in odd numbers, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> so, oh my word. Look at that shimmer on there now. Isn't that pretty? So I've got these pearls. I'm just going to grab a few of these and I'm just going to dot these around the place. I think I'm going to go for about five or seven of these as well. One, two, three. Oops, I've got two stuck together there. One has not got his coated on. So one, two, three. Four. I'm going to have one more, I think. That would be plenty. Five. Hmm. I think no. I'm gonna go for two more. Six and seven. Right now I'm done. Hey. Oh, less mess this time than there was last time. But there is that one. You're never gonna get two cards exactly the same. But there's that beautiful bohec technique. Wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. There's beautiful little pearls. You could add some sequins. Um, I'm loving the paler one as well. I think they just, I, I love the dark one. I love the pale one. I think they're absolutely stunning. I'm loving this one, but I'm just ashamed that that is not dark enough for me. But isn't that gorgeous? So what not to do and what to do. <laughs> and there we have it. There's my card for this evening. I hope you enjoy. I hope you give it a go. I'm going to line these up next to each other. I think they're just wonderful. Absolutely stunning. So I hope you give it a go and a thumbs up. That'd be brilliant. Um, I do try and post every single day. So if you want to subscribe, press the button down here. And if you want to see what I make tomorrow, press the little bell. And that'll tell you what. Uh, you get a notification then telling you I've uploaded a video. And you can come along and have a look. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.